Hi there. Um, I've been looking for a battery for my um, radio if ever I decide to go um, static mobile. Um, I know there are quite a lot of batteries out there at this present time, um, especially the uh, Tracer. As you know, the Tracer is quite expensive and uh, if you don't have any readies available and uh, you just want something, say, temporary, which won't um, burst the bank. Um, I did a bit of playing around um, with some batteries. Uh, I didn't video them, I was just looking at them and so on and so forth. And because I was given um, usage of the garage from my landlord, I was just scouting through some for some wires, some screws, and I came across a particular battery um, at first, I I didn't know much about it. I don't know much about batteries. I don't have a car, so I wouldn't really know. All I know is a is a um, power supply plugged in in the mains. So anyway, I found this battery, and um, I'm sure everybody's familiar with it. Um, they tend to be quite good. People use them in motorbikes, um, basically in wheelchairs and basically anything really even a um, caddy you know um, motorized caddy um, and anyway this particular one um, I'd seen on eBay and I thought oh let's have a look at this one so without actually <laughs> looking at the ampage I sort of thought okay well it's seven ampage anyway and you know majority of the um, plug-in power supplies uh, 3 amp, 5 amp and so on depending on what particular radio so I thought well I've just got the um, AM FM radio here and I just thought okay I'll just plug it in and connect it to the battery and see what happens and all to behold it came on and I didn't broadcast obviously I just wanted to see if it would work the radio obviously it did and it wasn't until I got closer and I noticed that when the landlord had purchased this it was back in 2014 and I thought to myself oh well that's uh, interesting and um, I thought okay um, well obviously there's still power and life in this particular battery and as you know even though you're not using it um, you will lose power anyway so I thought okay I'll buy a battery charger so I went ahead and bought this one, I think it was £22 um, on eBay as well. And um, I plugged it in and the red and the green light came on and looked through the manual, which is normal. And then it chooses which one. If it's red, it needs charging. Green, it's fully charged. So me being me, plugged it straight in. Sorry, I plugged, I, I didn't. Uh, obviously it was plugged in uh, sorry and um, it just went straight to red after green and then I waited and I just looked again in less than what three or four minutes it's fully charged so <laughs> I was quite amazed um, being it's over four years old sitting in the garage on the shelf being gathering dust anyway so I thought, okay, so why not we buy the bigger version? So we went on to eBay and we managed to find the one we're talking about, which was a 7 amp at $15.99. So then I thought, okay, let's see if we can um, buy one which um, has got bigger ampage. And um, I thought, okay, let's see. So we clicked on to the one we bought already and up popped the 17 ampage at £35.99. Well, I thought, considering this one has been sitting for four years, It'd be very interesting to see how this one would perform anyway. 
So this is in the mail now, should get it either today or tomorrow. And if that is the case, um, probably next week now, probably on Monday, um, I'll probably try and go portable mobile. Um, the reason behind that, on Thursday I'm going up to Oxford. Um, if anybody knows me, they'll know that I run a volleyball club. And we've got a competition in Oxford on Thursday. So I'll be over there until Sunday. So yeah, um, <laughs> we're going to give this a try. And it's amazing, isn't it? Um, how, you know, scouting through the garage, looking around, seeing all kinds of things, batteries, but, but car batteries. And I didn't really want to carry a car battery. Anyway, this one is quite small and I'd say it's about three, uh, two kilo, two and a half kilo, something like that. Not too heavy. And I think the other one's going to be about, just about, a little bit bigger. And it will fit perfectly in my side saddle. Uh, let's go outside, shall we? Um, yeah. It will fit perfectly in my side saddle and the um, the uh, portable uh, mast obviously it's only going to be about three foot which I can carry and then hopefully we can stick it in the tree in the field in fact um, don't need to stick it in the tree actually there's quite a bit of fencing around where we'll be going so yeah that'd be great sorry about my mess in my kitchen but uh, because of the weather um, the shed the shack sorry it's about 35 at the moment and it's pretty hot so I'm just uh, here in the kitchen um, yeah it's not normally this messy but it's all the wires and God knows what else and before you say it don't use the radio while you've got everything plugged in because you're gonna get lots of uh, interference but um, a ho but um, we've got lots of ferrites on most of the kitchen appliances anyway so so we're ready for that so yeah if anybody's got any questions i'm not perfect on making videos i get tongue-tied sometimes but um it does make interesting read and it does get people wondering about power supplies and being told to buy a tracer because everybody says oh buy a tracer buy this okay yeah buy it fine i would love to buy it um I will buy one eventually but I don't have the readies for it and some people say oh why don't you save up and all that and everything but um, for myself I'm I I don't I value money okay fine but I'm not the one who can sit around and wait 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 so if I've got a few cat bit of cash ready for a 20 pound 30 pound battery I'll buy one well like I say it's all trial and error and you know obviously the trace is fantastic for going up mountains it's very light um you know you can basically just carry it in your palm of your hand but um it's just for those who don't have all that money and you know i'm just giving a quick fix and um, like i said even in the house as well it's a quick fix for a house as well because if you're getting a, a 30 say for example a 12 volt 17 amp ampage um, battery which you can actually charge you know quite easily uh, and it's not losing much power then yeah it's it's uh, it's okay you know I mean you know it's you know it whatever suits you whatever floats your boat as I would say <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna get back on now to um, tidying up here and drinking the rest of my coffee and doing a little bit of washing up and yeah and that's it so anybody got any questions p uh, please uh, drop some notes and uh, like and share cheers and beers